Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover that shows 2024 has been stacked when it comes to drama in the entertainment space. And today we got more that has come from Kendrick Lamar dissing Drake and J. Cole as even Ye has decided to add himself into the mix and he chose to do what no one expected since people were expecting Ye to side with Kendrick in this beef. But he chose to put both of them on blast and we'll get to more on this in a bit as rappers like King Crooked have reacted to Ye, while Drake continues to respond via social media since he got dissed by Kendrick. And mind you, like we covered in the last video, since Rick Ross turned on Drake, clips have now resurfaced of Nicki Minaj stir frying Rick Ross for being a snake, and Kendrick is out here wreaking havoc and crushing dreams, all thanks to his verse on Like That, as you'd see in a bit. Today we also have one that came out of left field, as MGK got successfully baited on social media and he's been getting cooked and exposed since and it is safe to say that MGK will never shake off the beef with Eminem as whenever he finds himself getting roasted, thousands of tweets about Eminem bullying him out of the hip-hop genre follows. More on this in a moment and today we have more that's come from 50 Cent who continues to clash with his baby mama Daphne Joy since she was mentioned in court documents linked to Diddy and things escalated quickly as you'd see at a lot of part of the video. So starting with Ye, he wasn't gonna let Kendrick and Drake have all the fun this week and he took to social media to put them on blast. He shared this. Everyone knows I watched Kendrick on No More Parties in LA. Everyone knows I watched Drake at the Free Hoover concert. Everyone knows I brought Adidas into this culture and I took them out. Everyone knows Lada, Damna, Virgil, Jerry, Kim all worked for me. I made Jesus, Dark Fantasy, Pablo, Graduation, Throne, 808s. I made Runaway, Devil in a New Dress, Father Stretch, I am the only person to come back to number one after cancellation. There is only one goat, I stand with me, my friends call me Ye. And while some have suggested unconventional means for this to get settled, like do a twerk off with Kendrick and Drake oiled up to solve this. Ah, man. <laughs> others have brought up how Ye completely ignored J. Cole. I once again feel sorry for J. Cole because he seems so insignificant in this whole thing right now. And more on this note, J. Cole not even getting a mention is hilarious. However, some rappers have fired back at Ye. For instance, Sheck West reacted with, you stole my whole cadence, flow, beat, tempo to get number one, you delusional and you ain't checking with the buzzins, you dudes really bugged out. And Ye reacted to Sheck West with this on IG stories. Suffice to say, he's offered him some exposure to shut him up and King Crooked also called out Ye with this. Since Ye washing everybody, come jump on a song with the duo. And in response to Crook, some have added, he left out forever. Eminem and Lil Wayne watched the other two. And more on this note, Kanye feels left out. Notice how he didn't mention Forever song featuring Lil Wayne, Eminem and Drake. And Drake continues to fight his battles using IG. As he shared this a few hours ago, I could never sell y'all out to sell my latest work. Never do you bad out of the blue, but I'm down to make it worse. And this has since gone viral. Drake since Kendrick Lamar this five IG captions, three IG stories, rant at his concert, posted a caption from his dad's IG account, loudly crying emoji, all the studios might be closed in the country, thinking emoji. And speaking on Rick Ross, who was shading Drake by vibing to Kendrick's verse on Like That a few hours ago, well, Drake fans have pulled up receipts on Rick Ross being called a snake. Check it out from Nicki Minaj on the Joe Budden podcast. A grown ass man name drops a woman and this is a woman to sell an album? when I was the only person in your artist corner when everyone turned their back on them, when everyone was calling them Twitter fingers and cracking up laughing at them. I'm the one, I went and sat down in a meeting with Obama, President Obama, and Ross was there and texted dude after the meeting and said, yo, this chick is a keeper. I saw the text myself with my own eyes. This chick is a keeper. She went in a, whole, in a room full of rappers and spoke to Obama and the first thing out of her mouth was, 
about you and and figuring out your probation situation and why you're still on probation after all these years and then you come out on a on an album when it's time to sell some weak ass fucking album and try to disrespect Nicki Minaj what and now you tried to do it now you tried to disrespect 50 tried to hope 50 would respond to your nonsense this time boy sit your fat ass down damn and speaking on Kendrick, he's out here crushing dreams, all because he chose this time to diss Drake, since Drake was supposed to be on BFB the Pac-Man's new album, but that didn't happen, and according to the rapper, it goes, I couldn't get it cleared, shrugs emoji. Kendrick came out with the diss, and he put everything on hold, forget me not, out now. And moving on to the next point, MGK got successfully baited and exposed a few hours ago when this report of his new collab album with Trippy Red led to a roasting session. It started with this response to the report. The way I just learned, I have a beat placement in this this morning and I know it is about to be the worst song I ever heard. A producer who unknowingly worked on the album, trashing the album is certainly a new one and Trippy Trippy Red wasn't having it. He reacted with this. Thanks for letting me know you have been removed from the album. Good luck. And MGK set himself up with this response. Played yourself for Twitter likes clown emoji. To which the producer hit back with, now that I got your attention, you still on this? I'm not waiting till she's 18, I'll go now. What? Hold up. I'm not waiting till she's 18, I'll go now. I'm 23, dog. Like. I'm not like a creepy age, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm 23, bro. She's 17 and she's like a celebrity. Like, there, there's no, there is no limits right there. Robert Plant, who is one of the greatest lead singers ever, for all y'all don't know, he's sung for Led Zeppelin, dated a girl that was 14. Axl Rose, who was one of the biggest badasses ever, dated a girl that was 16 and wrote a song on his first album about the girl that was 16. Wow. I don't care. Say what you want, man. If Kendall Jenner is in your bedroom naked, and you're 50, you're going. We're failing as a people. Ooh. And this went viral, and MGK has been getting piled on since. You played yourself by sexualizing Eminem's underage daughter and thinking you could go after him and come out unscathed. You're the real bozo. On this note, just like you played yourself for Marshall's validation and ended up getting eight up. Remember, Kelly? and it was only a matter of time, he is signed to Diddy. And this went viral because of the timing, as MGK caught on camera admitting to some strange things while Diddy is reportedly going through it with the feds right now. It's certainly a horrible look. I don't care. Say what you want, man. And some concluded in response to MGK, Eminem is your father. And moving on to the next point, things escalated quickly since reports linked 50 Cent's baby mama Daphne Joy to Diddy. And since the court documents describe her as a sex worker for Diddy who also offered paid for services, this made headlines. 50 Cent reportedly seeking sole custody of son after ex Daphne Joy was accused of being Diddy's sex worker. 50 Cent reacted to the headline with the caption, it is what it is, shrugs emoji, see you in family court, sex worker. But 50 Cent wasn't done. He added, you moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back and then you started receiving money from brother love. Now here we are, little sex worker. And 50 Cent is still going off, as in response to the report, 50 Cent's final lap tour on pace to be in the top three highest grossing hip hop tours of all time. 50 Cent shared the report and added the caption, whistle while you work, guys, that's my theme for today. I made all this money and I am practicing abstinence, shrugs emoji. I don't want a little sex worker. And it is wild because 50 Cent is yet to mention Daphne Joy by name so far. But over to you guys, share your thoughts below in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.